Happy Tuesday, paratroopers. It's Parallax Abstraction, and welcome to a special edition of my Tuesday stream, indeed. Uh, this is, we are going to be showcasing tonight, we're, we're drifting from the formula a little bit. We're going to be showcasing a brand new game, a brand new indie game here, and this is exciting for me because it's not only a new game and a game I'm excited about, but it is the first game as part of the new Shed Connect developer relations program that I am helping to spearhead through the shed which is the amazing gaming and streaming community that i'm a part of here i have been grinding for months talking to developers to try to get this thing up and going and this is the first thing to come from that uh, a number of people from the shed this evening are going to be streaming this game uh, on their channels and tonight and over the course of the week actually and this is done in partnership with Zodiac Interactive, which is the Chinese publisher behind this game. This game was also developed in China, interestingly enough, by a company called Palm Pioneer, who principally made mobile games before this. It was actually a Kickstarter originally, which I didn't even know ahead of time, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it, this is a game I probably would have picked up with my own money and played anyway, because it's point and click, it's uh, pixel art, and it's cyberpunk, which are three things I adore. So uh, I'm very excited to do this. But yeah, just a quick little thing. This is the first game uh, as part of the Shed's community partnership model. And essentially what this is, is a where we seek out developers and publishers making cool indie games who want to do what's called community partnerships with us, which is that we basically find a way for our team to work with them to help promote their game because it is incredibly hard to get noticed as an indie dev these days. And also to help our streamers in our community get some exposure as well, especially smaller variety streamers like myself, who really like to focus on indie games and cooler and different games, which means that by design, you're going to have a much harder time getting noticed and growing your channel. But this is stuff I want to play a lot more of on here, because though I still like a lot of AAA games, I'm drifting further and further away from that segment and being drawn more and more towards this segment. And it's frankly, it's hard to grow a channel playing this stuff. And this was the idea. So this is not a paid business deal. We are not being sponsored for this. The only thing here is that everyone who is playing this on behalf of the Shed got a free copy of the game, which is pretty typical in Critical Games coverage. So just disclosing that up front. But uh, I have actually only played a little bit of this at PAX. I have not played it beyond that because I wanted to go into this basically wide open and with my eyes wide open. So I'm really looking forward to that. This game looks cool. Like I said, I probably would have played it anyway. But I do want to thank Zodiac Interactive for being incredibly receptive and incredibly cooperative and a pleasure to deal with uh, with this and for taking a chance on us and believing in this new experimental model that we are pioneering with the Shed. No one else is really doing anything like this and that they are they were willing to take a chance on, on us is great because we can show more devs through this um, what the shed is capable of because the shed takes indie games very seriously and I certainly do as well so yeah, this is what we're going to be playing tonight, and we're going to be putting the first chunk of time on YouTube as sort of a special one-off indie showcase thing. So, this is on Steam right now. It is uh, it is launching. It's twenty bucks Canadian normally. It's launching for seventeen fifty, ten percent off in the launch week, and they're actually, you know what? I think they took it. Did they take it down? There was a demo for this. Um. And it actually looks like there isn't any more. That's kind of unfortunate. I was uh, actually um, really hoping to encourage people to go grab the demo if they wanted to try it themselves. But it looks like the demo was just pre-release. So, oh well, that's kind of a bummer. But nonetheless, you get to see it here and it is inexpensive. And to be honest with you, demos on Steam are not that big a deal anymore anyway because there's the two-hour refund policy. If you buy the game and you don't like it, you can get your money back anyway, right? So, yeah. All right, so we're going to fire this up. Like I said, I have not touched this before uh, other than a little bit of PAX East, which is honestly all I needed to play to know I wanted this. Um, and that's why I didn't play anymore because I didn't want to spoil anything. So, um, I am very much... Curious to go into this. I don't know how puzzly it is, which might be interesting because Moon Logic puzzles and point and click adventure games, eh, I'm not so good at those. But we'll see. So I'm going to get a how long to beat clock going on this because I do intend to finish this game. Ah, uh, uh, supports 1440. Thank you very much. 
Uh, operation hint. Okay, so this game has controller support. That's cool. Uh, we'll be playing this with keyboard and mouse. Uh, inventory, interact, one, two, confirm. Okay, this is all pretty standard adventure gamey stuff. Uh, and as you can see here, like I said, this is a Chinese team. Um, Palm, um, Palm Pioneer is a Chinese team, and as is um, Zodiac Interactive. But this was a Kickstarter game, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't know that beforehand. So, though a friend of mine did back it. I haven't backed too many games on Kickstarter lately, so I probably missed this. I'm already loving this visual and this music, so all right, let's give her a go. Uh, yes, we will be using keyboard. Thank you. This is only on PC right now, though they do have, uh, they do hope to bring uh, this to consoles as well. And it has controller support, support so clearly it will eventually make it. So, um, this would be great on consoles as well. Sorry if you hear a little crunching in the background occasionally, guys. Riley's chewing on a joint bone behind me on his bed here. So this is like a, like I said, it's a cyberpunk adventure game that's kind of like a detective noir story. Okay. Okay. I like this. There's controller prompts right on the screen. Tutorial prompts right on the screen. Okay. So not so much with uh, the hitting the thing right away there. How you doing? Excellent. Hey, Zerudo. Thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the paratroopers. Zerudo is one of the fine people from the Shed who will be streaming this game, I believe, later this week. Yes. Oh, tonight! Oh, nice! Make sure to drop, uh, make sure to drop Zerudo a follow as well. There's going to be several, several people. Real Caustic is streaming this tonight. I believe Daisy Days is, uh, and there's a couple of other people who will be streaming it either tonight or over the course of this week. Too bad this isn't voiced, but I mean, hey, that's that's a lot to ask out of a small budget adventure game. So, oh, memo update: Acquire hand part. Cyberpunk, get a hand part, get a foot part, and finish body restoration. Well, okie dokie then. Gotta get that hand part, son. Your hat is running away by itself. That's not good. Yes. <laughs> listen, you need leg parts and hand parts, but listen, the, the, the real priority here is you need your friggin' hat. I mean, you don't have your hat. What kind of detective can you be? Hey, thank you for the host, Biz. Much appreciated. Okay, so we have to... I see what we have to do here. So we have to trap this little... We have to trap this little uh, critter here. So that I get my hat back. How's your evening going, Biz? Dude, the art in the, the, yeah, the pixel art in this is stunning. That was one of the things that really, I mean, I love, cy I love anything cyberpunk, and I really do like pixel art uh, that, that's well done. It is, uh, it is really incredible. Okay, so I gotta scare this little bastard. Absolutely. There is, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people who do pixel art because it's easier and they don't necessarily do it well, but those who do pixel art well do it incredible, like, really do incredible things with it. 
So this isn't a, this is an adventure game, obviously. So there is a lot of puzzles and such in it. Um, I tend to be bad at a lot of adventure game uh, moon logicy puzzles. So we may have to have uh, we may have to have some chat help here, but that's okay. Yeah, it's fine detail, Sim. There's a lot of people who have good pixel art, right? Who uh, there's a lot of people who who have pixel art that's just very flat. Like it's very it's very low detail. It, it looks very generic and uninteresting. Um, you know, it, it just it's clear where they wanted something where they weren't very good at art and they wanted something easy, right? Um, significant detail like this like especially in the way the animation moves right uh the animation in this is incredibly uh the animation in this you know is smooth there's a lot of there's a lot of uh frames to the animation there's a lot of variable you know variance in the character's movements um there's a lot of pixel art that just seems somewhat soulless, you know, like it just, it doesn't convey anything and it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't help make the world interesting. Okay, so we got to figure out how to regulate the, uh, regulate the pipes here. I'm just going to check here and see. Oh, what's this? Okay. I thought maybe there was something back here that we would need. It's kind of hard to describe, Sim, but honestly, like, I could show you good pixel art. Like, I could show you what I think it, what I think are examples of good and bad pixel art. So, okay, clearly we have to alter, we have to set these valves a particular way, obviously. I'm actually... So I think we're obviously okay. We've got to we've got to make sure that this stuff gets directed a certain way. So to me, that looks like this one goes up. Yeah. Okay. That one goes up. That one goes that way. And I think what we need, because there's holes in these, we direct this one down this way. Hey, there we go. And then, bada bing! Bye, you little bastard. You can take my arm, you can take my leg, but you will not take my fedora. Hard no. Absolutely. And I have to say as well, at least so far, the uh, the this game was developed in China. So far, it looks like the translation is quite good. I'm not going to lie, that's something that initially I was a little concerned about. Because a lot of games that come out of that region, often they don't put a lot of um, effort into the translation. So far, it looks it looks pretty good. Now... Uh, just give me a sec here. Okay, Q and E are the interacts. Now, it looks like I can't... It looks like I can't drag stuff out of my inventory onto things. So it looks like it's context-sensitive inventory. So it will use stuff where it's needed. What the... Uh... Hi, Devil Kitty. William? He has a cat named William, and it looks like Satan.
What are you doing, kitty? I do need, um, I do wish that they had a text speed option because the, te the default text here is very, very slow. Like you can skip it forward, but I wish it drew out a little faster. Uh, that would be nice. So we need Alter okay, so we need alternative power cells, and we need uh, cables, he said. Figured out. You figured out. Figured out. Figured out. Figured out. Figured out. Figured out. Indeed. Uh, okay, so dismantle machines, he says. Hahaha. <laughs> Oh, it's always been there. Okay, yeah. So you just you click on an object and then you pick an item from your inventory, and if it uh, and if it works, it works. So you don't have to drag stuff onto different objects to see if you can make it work. That's cool. I like that. Oh, kitty. GG, kitty. Was was that like a cyber rat? Oh my god. Cyborg rats. His cyber cat killed the cyber rat. Okay. So kitty, try not to try not to bite so much, okay? If you could, that that'd be that'd be that'd be dope. Anything we can get out of this guy? Mechanical wrist parts. <laughs> nice. Get him, William. Get him. Get him. <laughs> you scared away the cyborg rats. There's a phrase you don't hear every day. Get him, kitty. Wait, am I playing the kitty? Guys, I'm playing the kitty. Game changer. And it's a stealth sequence. Guys, we're playing a stealth sequence in a cyberpunk adventure game with a cyber kitty to catch cyber rats. 10 out of 10, game of the year. Okay, so I have to get in behind them. So I have to find a way. Wait, what? Kitty is apparently able to wreck some of this stuff. So I apparently need to get behind one of these little I have to get behind these little cyber mice. And I have to sort of maze my way up there, it looks like. The way we came in. Ah, oh, son of a beehive. I had him. I didn't see he was there and I missed him. Why are you running? Why are you running if you ain't done nothing?
Oh wow, this is Maisie AF. This cat is rather uh, knowledgeable. It was hard enough to get out here. I don't think I can do it the other way. The cat actually monologued. And I love all this subtle iconography, like, hey, we're going to explain your objective without using any language. We're not going to have a persistent UI on the screen. We're just going to pop up this little bubble that's like, hey, here's the thing. They do. I mean, they are plotting, you know, they are, they do spend every waking moment plotting against us. Oh. Getcha. Yeah. I'm a wrecking the cyber rats. It's true. Yes, they can neither confirm nor deny. This is all... It is all... It is all... Top secret... Top secret uh, cat knowledge. It is for feline ears, ears only. Okay, I need to get one more of these little buggers. Ugh. Okay. It's true. He is the he is he is the tiger. He is he is the cat. You know what commands many other cats. Oh, you little bastards. Come on, only one more of you. That's all we need. One more. Yeah. Momo would plot against me, but she's just too, too much of a suck. She knows if she does that, she's not she she knows if she does that, she risks compromising her her uh snuggle supply and she needs, you know, some things are are some things are critical. So, Okay, we... Oh, I, I see what we have to do. It's true. I mean, if Momo and Riley didn't get all the snuggles and treats that they do, they would have pieced out a long time ago, I think. They would have been like, screw this. Hanging around with this loser isn't worth it. <laughs> Okay, so I need to find... Now, this is a bit of a tricky spot, because I can't go through there. I gotta find another way up and around. Like this. Well then. No, I can't, can't go down there, though. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Now, I'm not 100% sure what benefit that served, though. Because it didn't really stop... It didn't stop the, the mouse. That, that's the one we have to get. Clearly, I think. Uh, where would you get screws for a laptop that's missing them? There are various laptop screw kits you can buy online. Uh, there's also a couple of places in Ottawa, like Brafasco and the Ottawa Fastener, uh, Ottawa Fastener Supply, that carry basically every kind of screw you can possibly imagine. And if you go in and basically tell them what you need, they'll just get it for you off, and they cost like a penny each. Uh, I have bought stuff from places like that many a time. They're very helpful. So I might suggest that. Um, but there also are, uh, there's companies, actually, I think iFixit makes one. You can buy, uh, like a replacement laptop screwdriver set. 
um, that has like a lot of the common sizes and such. I used to have access to one at one point in time, but I don't remember what I did with it. Okay, so I, I have to find a route over to this third mouse over here. I think I have an idea. Um, um, so this game clearly is very puzzle heavy. Uh, which isn't bad. I don't mind adventure game puzzles. I mind adventure game moon logic puzzles. Uh, you, you know, the, the ones where adve that adventure games have where they're just like, hey, here's a puzzle that makes no sense in any kind of real world context. And, you know, we made this purposely obtuse and stupid just to just to be annoying. That I'm not a fan of. I don't like that. Um, but... Um, Uh, pff, I mean, I don't really have a list per se, but, um, yeah, I should do that because to the moon, I, well, to the moon isn't very heavy on the moon logic. I know that. And it's not a, it's not a super, uh, long, uh, game. It's not a super long game either, as I recall. So, Oop. damn it. How do I get over to this little bastard? Come on, I just want to eat your battery. Well, I'm going to be starting soon, uh, Where Tiger, that um, I'm tentatively calling it Story Saturday, but that's the other thing I'm going to start doing on my, my Saturday streams is these adventure games that have been on my backlog for a million years. So I might make To the Moon one of the, uh, the sooner ones uh, for that. So that takes us down there. We need to jump over to where that little bugger is. See, what... I feel like I'm not... Yeah, I'm missing a route... Clearly a route step here. Let's see, we can get up here. We can jump over there, but then the only way we can go here is down. There's also two holes down there that I don't seem to be able to... Okay, well, here. Then where does this take us? Yeah, see, this just takes us here. But you see, we can't jump into here and flow down and jump down. Oh, wait. Can we maybe do this? Nope. Hmm. It's definitely not the, uh... Not the most straightforward puzzles in the world, that's for sure. Oh, hang on. Got him. <laughs> Capture experts. All right. GG, William. Yeah, robotic skeleton. Didn't I didn't I already pill for this? Yeah, I did. I'm way ahead of you, game. <laughs> I already murdered that I already stole that robot's bits. Oh, 
that's not it. Okay. By the way, I also like the fact that I'm I'm sitting here like this because I don't have to touch the mouse. This whole game I'm playing with my left hand on the keyboard. Like all the keys, it's kind of neat. If you look here, all the keys are batched up like that. So you can play this entirely. You can play it with the mouse if you want, or you can play it entirely with with one hand on the keyboard if you want. Which is a nice touch actually. Uh, that looks different. Okay, another puzzle. Minim minimal to maximum, it says. So... That would be... Correct, is it not? Wait. Okay, I don't know what I did differently there, but... Now, the power cable, if I recall correctly, there, uh, there was a power cable back out here in the main area. I think it was down here. It wouldn't let me uh, take it the first time. Yeah, this here. There we go. Now I can uh, fix my augments here. Give me power! Finish body restoration. Oh yeah, here we go. No suitable part. Hold, please. Can I put both things in here? Give her! All eggs in one basket. You know, your uh, your body restoration, you know, your cybernetic body restoration, as you would do in the maintenance room of the sewers. I mean, where else do you do your, do your audience, right? There's a lot of environments. Okay. Off we go. Ugh, worst alarm ever. Wow, that looks like they messed they mashed Johnny 5 up with Wally. That's pretty cool. And his name is BBX. <laughs> That's, uh, that's a lot. That's not good.
yes, I can move quickly now. This guy is an interesting, interesting home. Wow, there's a, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. that it gives you, uh, there's sort of a lot of codex stuff here that you can look into. That's neat. For a guy who apparently is barely scraping by, he's got a, he's got a pretty big-ass house. is scared. Wouldn't I want to go turn on the lights first? I feel like I'd want to turn on the lights first. Uh, hey. Yeah, maybe we should fix the light. Maybe we should fix the lights before dealing with the crazy demon-possessed robo-armor. Also, why are, why are the clocks working now? Oh. Uh, okay. I can honest, I can... I can say conclusively that I have never seen an electrical box that works like this. Friggin' people will do anything they have to to keep themselves employed. God. Make work crap. Can't just give us simple circuit breakers. No, no. We always got to keep ourselves. We always got to keep ourselves. Uh, got to keep them union dues coming in, you know? Hey, are you happy now? What is this thing? A cat? Is this where I discovered William? There is a claymore or something living around the apartment, he says. Okay. Humans fighting robots, it said? between humans and robots. So there's a claymore somewhere in the in here. He still says he can't go downstairs. Claymore, he's a uh, claymore, eh? I mean, 
in this dark cyber in this dark dystopian future who who's to say like okay yeah there there's there it is right there he's got his bathroom sword like again this guy apparently lit is broke and he's in a we already can't afford housing and he lives in the distant future this place is a palace For real, why do you, Which hasn't rusted... Well, yeah, there you go. That's true. So, who, he was using it as a clothes hanger. Which hasn't rusted despite being stored in the bathroom. Heavy. Suitable for use as a clothes hanger. Okie dokie. Go save William. Demon unlocked, William. Wait. Did we actually let a spirit out of this thing? Yeah, peace, William. I do really like how these puzzles are all very different from each other. Like, it's really not giving me, like, a, everything I've had to do so far has been very different from the thing that came before it. I think that's pretty cool. So there's a processor downstairs and we need a decoder tool from other appliances. Okay. Electronic disassembling device. Do you have that in the can? I and mean, that's where I keep all my electronic disassembly devices. He has a lost poster. <laughs> That's funny. So I still can't go downstairs? Oh, I can go downstairs now. Okay. Like, look at this place! Holy Livingston crap! This house is epic! donut cup competition that looks a lot like a an urn but okay oh hey kitty oh it's not his cat apparently William, jump up and knock that off, would you?
Go, 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 cat, go knock the box off the, 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 the shelf. Apparently he just leaves stuff on his stove all day long. You know, I guess again, as you do. Potato. Irish. Oh, hey, I did ask. Hey, the cat did go get the box down. Set you up with a nice girl cat. easy enough this is quite an intelligent cat I have to say GG kitty Now the decoder chip though, so we said that comes from appliances, so I'm guessing, so you can, you can still use, like use the, the use button on things that are not highlighted. So I'm going to guess that we maybe have to go tap on a few of the appliances. until we find one that has the bit we need. That's the outside. I'm gonna have to get a. Um, the the soundtrack for this game is still available. I might have to. Um, I might have to pick this up. I actually quite like the ambience in this game. Fashion PlayStation with no cartridges. Oh, nice. It has mirror reflection. That's cool. in video games are very hard. Everyone knows this. Oh yeah, you should hear the fans going, man. It's it's they're going they're going absolutely crazy. Oh good. Oh good. The tool to dismantle the decoder should be in here, but I don't remember the code. Oh balls. GG dumbass. Oh. 
If you forgot the code, ask Horus for help. Wait. Recorder? Collect 10 files. This game has 47 achievements. That's quite a few. Okay, well, let's give him his chip. Oh, okay, I need both. All right. So, ask... Ask Horus. A code... To, okay, so... If you forgot the code, ask Horus for help. Who is Horus? The picture of the Eye of Horus. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Um... I kind of see numbers on it, but not really. You can't really zoom in on it either. So do I have to go down and look at it on the wall? By the way, folks, uh, I do have a couple of extra bonus codes for my giveaway uh, that I haven't used. I will be giving away um, a couple of those tonight, probably, in the not-too-distant future. Okay, so there it is. It kind of looks like 7322, two, I think. I'm going to say it looks like 7322. Two. I hope I'm right about that. And then there's the code thing. So, okay, so hang on. So we need 7322. Two. So down a uh, line with a dot in the middle and then two, uh, two star things. Mang Ida Wiener Right, now I can check out common household appliances. Right, he mentioned that, so There we go. That didn't give me what we needed. This is dismantled. I'll need to go to the kitchen to booze up in the future. You, but you said you didn't have games for it! 
He says I still play it, so I'm not going to take it apart. But it also said you don't have games for it, so how do you play with it? You just stare at the firmware? Mesmerizing as the PlayStation firmware was. Okay, so nothing down here. Hey, Sari! Oh, good, are you? Good, I'm glad, man. I'm quite intrigued by it so far myself, actually. I have, uh, I have found this quite cool. Um, well, you can thank Zodiac Interactive for that. They are the, uh, people who have graciously hooked several members of the Shed Up with, uh, keys for this game in order to, uh, to do streams on it to sort of help, uh, help get it some notice. So, thank you very much to them. This is the first of the newer partnerships uh the community partnerships that we are doing with uh developers with the shed and uh zodiac after i saw them at pax east they were uh very interested in in uh, stepping up and doing some work with us so uh very cool to have the opportunity to play this this is a game like i said i probably would have bought anyway hey tech how are you man good to see you my friend well i appreciate that sari thank you kindly uh, yeah, I, uh, this game has been pretty cool so far, and I'm, uh, like I said, I probably would have bought this game anyway, and, uh, it's, I'm very glad to have gotten the opportunity to, uh, to cover it for people. It's very clear, so this is only out on PC right now, but I think it's quite clear that eventually this probably will come to consoles as well, because it has full controller support, and the way the, uh, this game is, the way this game plays, um... It has so few buttons, it easily would work um, with any of the consoles. So, I'm uh, very glad to... Uh, it would be, this would be very cool on the consoles, and especially the Switch. So, uh, I hope they get, it gets to come out there at some point soon. Alright, we got all the bits we need to get Robo Dude going. So, let's do that and get out of this uh, mansion that this supposedly broke guy lives in. And we'll go see what's going on. Yeah, my hope is that this will be the first of many community partnerships that the Shed will have. Uh, the more developers that want to work with us, uh, the more devs we can convince that we are worth doing stuff with. So this is a great first step. And honestly, Zodiac, if you look at their website, they put out some really cool other stuff. And they have some, I know of a couple of things they have coming that also look really cool. Uh, including some multiplayer stuff. So they look, um, they look, uh, they look like a really impressive up and coming uh, indie publisher. So I hope uh, we'll be able to showcase more of their cool stuff going forward. Hey! Match the frequency to the preset shape by turning the button. Okay. Oh, we close. Hey, what's going on on this side? Jason, how are you, my friend? Thank you for the host, sir. Greatly appreciated. Good to see you. How's your week been going, my man? I usually do pretty well at these frequency matching puzzles. Ding. The debugging is done. This is how programs are debugged. The best host. Uh-oh. I think we broke him worse. Well, that worked great. I love puzzles that end up in catastrophic failure.
Um, it's been busy the last couple of days. I mean, the last couple of weeks, honestly, have been really, really busy at work, but, uh, doing okay. So this guy's broke, but apparently he's gonna go out and buy some parts to fix his robot, because we just did a big puzzle to fix the thing, and then he exploded, because, you know, we're quality Cyber Mang. But, uh, yeah, but, but it's been going, it's been going good. Very happy, yeah, Johnny Wally. It's a nice combination. But, uh... It's been good. Really happy to be having the opportunity to cover this game tonight. This it seems like a pretty chill adventure game. I'm quite liking it so far. Very cool subject matter. As you can see, gorgeous art right here by the 712. <laughs> um, but uh, I love the look of this game. Like, g absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, 712. Yeah, the honestly, the art, the art initially, um, so far tech they have, there haven't been. Uh, the puzzles that we've run into so far have not been particularly moon logic-y. A lot of modern point and click games seem to be foregoing a lot of the moon logic, which is, I'm glad for, because those moon logic things were never fun. They were just ways to pad out the length of the game. They're doing good. Uh, Riley is actually on his bed beside me here, gnawing on a, a joint bone, and uh, Momo's doing quite well. Uh, Rai uh, had a bit of a limp going on for a while. I think he uh, hurt one of his paws, but uh, it seems to have healed up quite well. He doesn't have it anymore, so I'm happy about that. He goes to the vet for his annual checkup on Friday before my ex takes him back. So... Yeah, so far, I mean, the only thing I would say, um, if there is a thing to quote knock against this game, is mostly that it would be really nice if this stuff was voice acted. But I mean, this was a this was a Kickstarter game made by a Chinese company. I, I can totally understand why that's the case. Um, but yeah, it was pretty much a minor thing. Really, not a you know. Really, really not a huge deal. I mean, it happens sometimes, right? Like, he walks around barefoot, it, and, you know, we've had... We had ice and road salt and, and uh, sand and stuff on the roads from the winter, so it's it's really not a not a big deal. But it happens sometimes, but because he, he has Lyme disease that is in remission, and the sign of Lyme coming back is sudden limps, uh, we were a little worried about that, but um, it wasn't manifesting the way they said it would, so it, it would, so... We weren't really, we weren't really too worried, but, uh, oh yeah, but he's doing, he's doing good. Whoa. Hi. You, uh, look like something that later on is going to become incredibly dangerous and something I have to fight. Morax. This guy looks friggin' grumpy. Look at the eyes behind those glasses. It is a big boy. Morax, what a great name. For real, his Robo Greens. My offer for you to become a test subject for my research still stands. This guy's kind of a dick for a Robo, a Robo guy, isn't he? Hi, Raidoosh. What's up, bud? Retired from the army. Yeah, it looks like a ro it looks like something that would have come out of Boston Dynamics.
Violent trooper robots. Pretty accurate description, I'd say. So, okay, so... The guy wants... The viol oh, Violence Tromper, sorry. That actually sounds even more menacing. Violence Tromper. So I guess we have to go somewhere else to get the stuff we want. Oh, hey, kitty. You got your rocks off, and now you're, uh... What the hell have you been up to, cat? Are you a freaking secret murder machine? What kind of trail of bodies have you left in your wake, cat? Maybe. Burgers. Do I want a beer? Your treat? I mean... I mean, if a poor guy wants to buy me a beer... Oh good, let's go into the alley. What's the worst that could happen? Seedy alley in seedier area. Oh, fly noise. Ah, the noise of flies always makes my ears itch. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah. Get some, William. Elizabeth. These cats have very human names. Okay, the two of you are a pair of mass mass murderers? Or you and your posse here of cats are all mass murderers? Okay! Um... Crazy cat lady, uh... Ain't, uh... Ain't a cat lady no... Ain't, uh, into cats no mo. Apparently. Well then. Oh, uh, BKB. Ooh! Oh, it has an investigation mode! Oh, cool! Okay, guys, this is gonna be cool. I love games that do this, that have this, like, a little investigation mode thing. So, switch to investigation view to find more traces at the scene. When you find all the traces, they will combine into important clues to help you finish the final reasoning. Oh, God, I love these. I love game, I love crime scene investigation modes. I think this stuff is so neat. What's it? Oh, neat! So they all pop up on the screen, and then you can hover over them to read them. Very cool. So it's all, it's a little it's a little almost like a hidden object game, but oh, this is way cool, y'all. Okay, so then we can switch views. Liver mortis. I don't even know what that is. Oop, combine. Neat! You, so you, so, you, oh, does it? Oh, very cool. 
so yeah, you highlight relevant bits, and when they come, and if if the two tie together, they combine in in you combine into a single clue thing here. Oh, I like this. This is a really cool mechanic. This is really really neat. Yeah, there is. So they clearly put some effort into the both the keyboard and mouse controls. I think this is very clearly going to come to to console platforms later. And, you know, much as I always say it, this would be a great Switch game. I mean, it'd be good on the consoles in general, too, but this would, would definitely be a, a great uh, Switch game. Okay, so we're almost done here. Oh, wait, we've got this. There we go, we got it all. Very, very cool. I like that mechanic. That's very neat. I need to move the dumpster, okay? done yet oh look at this uh hi big kitty hey there little fatty this cat's name is Falkenberg? <laughs> That's amazing. To distract him? How about you just friggin' like, I don't know, like, make a loud noise? Cat's favorite food smells weird. Indeed. Okay, well we can we know what to distract him with. Please <laughs> get more food. I'm fine, I'm fat. Uh, uh Okay, let's see if we can combine all Every clue you find in the case is just like a gear on the watch. Once you have found every clue and correctly combined them, you will discover the truth. When you have collected enough clues, gears, attempt deduction here. Only when all clues, bracket, gears, a little bit of a typo issue there, are placed in the correct spots can you make a decision. This is rather interesting. Okay, so we have to combine... The gears into this clock in a certain way to, I guess, get the result that we're looking to achieve. This is interesting. So... This, this looks like it could get rather gnarly rather fast, these puzzles, no? Okay, so you do this. This is is an odd but also kind of cool mechanic for how to do this. 
It, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is pretty neato. Oh, on the second stopwatch? Yeah, I could see these. Now this is where I could see things getting a little moon logic-y. <laughs> uh... I could certainly see, yeah, I could certainly see the puzzles here uh, getting a little gnarly. Okay, so it looks like, uh, hey, Dirty, how are ya? Uh, it's cool, man. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pick up the soundtrack for this. I really love the, I really love the music in this. And so far, it's a very interesting twist on the on adventure games. It's, uh... There we go. Uh, I really like the fact that you can literally play it with just one hand on your keyboard. Uh... Yeah, you can play it with just, um... One hand on the keyboard. I love the art. Uh, like I said, I kind of wish it was voice acted, but smaller game that was kickstarted, I can understand why it wasn't. Um, but yeah, I love the look of it, and I kind of like what this is going for so far. And, and and all the puzzles have been interesting, because the puzzles are all... No two puzzles have been alike, they've all been very different. And a couple of them have been challenging, but not Moon Logic. Like, I hate Moon Logic adventure game puzzles. Games where the puzzles make absolutely no sense and they're just designed that way to pad out the length. I don't like that. But most modern adventure games are not doing that anymore. I didn't kickstart this game because I don't kickstart many games anymore, but if I did kickstart this, I don't think I would be disappointed. Do these cops have, like, cyber ties? Their ties have, like, LEDs in them. What's up, Royd? I back when Kickstarter was first taking off, I kickstarted a lot of different games. And I actually have a pretty good track record. Only two or th three of them basically bailed without happening. Several of them were very disappointing though, like not what I expected. A few of them were okay, but most of them I was generally not that impressed, so I don't kickstart many games anymore. Um, because the ones that are that are really good usually end up getting made anyway, and then I just buy them. I did ki I did kickstart Chernobylite though, which is the new uh, horror survival game from the Farm Fifty One because it's based around Chernobyl, and that just looks cool. But um... but these are very cool. Yeah, I mean, you know what? It's a small team, and they're from China, so getting good quality English voice actors probably would have been very difficult for them, so I can understand that. Games like this, you really can't expect to be voice acted. Nice, though, it would have been. But I have to say, for a game that is developed and published in China, they did a very nice job on the localization. Uh, there, isn't been, there hasn't been a lot of bad uh, grammar or bad translation. Uh, well, so Zodiac Interactive is from, uh, China, but I think, uh, I think Palm Pioneer is Chinese, too. Uh, let's check that real quick. I'm pretty sure they're Chinese. Oh, did it? Uh, 
interesting. Okay. No, yeah, here they are. Uh, the company that ran the Kickstarter might have been based in New Jersey. Um, that happens. Yeah, here they are. Yo, know, they are very much Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are a Chinese company. You know why? Um, you can't run Kickstarters in China. So, uh, probably, uh, they use, like, a North American subsidiary company, uh, to run it. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Because, yeah, they can't run a, they can't run, um, they can't run a Kickstarter from China. They have to run it through an American company. Uh, hi, little girl. Who doesn't look like a serial arsonist. Hello, little girl. Does you know about the dead body? Three oh three, thank you, little girl. I love the cop having to run. He's like, <laughs> oh god, I'm fat. That's pretty funny. The third floor? Oh. I thought I could randomly pick another floor and something interesting would happen. Also, yeah, why does one of those... <laughs> that button, I assume, has blood because she was probably thrown from the sixth floor? I'm gonna guess. Quality of qu is quality tenement, yes. Sir. Steakhouse tried to talk to her. Hello? Hello? <laughs> she loved entertaining children at her place. Know what I mean? Run, fat boy. Who who designs locks and circuit breakers like this? Like for really? Oh my god. Nobody designs apartments like this. Right?
Uh, so I can only move two discs. But... Okay, so I need to line that up. There only seems to be, like, one way to line these things up correctly, so... Oh, I see. You have to rotate it multiple times because you have to rotate the bit and then move the bit into the, the spot it needs to go to. Oh, clever. Okay. Okay. I, I, I mean, once again, though, I have to ask who designs locks this way? I mean, to be fair, this would definitely, like, confuse the hell out of most burglars, I guess. Okay, so I want to get in that, uh, this little, I need to get onto that little, like, crookedy one there. Definitely not, uh, again, not moon logic puzzles at all, just relatively challenging, you know, general logic puzzles, which, you know, again, to be fair, I am, I am, I am no good at. <laughs> uh, this is why I wanted to start up those story Saturday live streams is, is so that because I want to play a lot of these adventure games when I'm so bad at the puzzles that uh, if I could work with some of the the chat members to help figure them out, uh, you know, that way we get to experience the stories together. But uh, I don't have to bash my head in frustration against these puzzles that I'm really not good at. Novelist, how are ya? Good to see you. Uh, couldn't hurt, Sari. Um, like, I have a, I have a rough idea what I need to do here, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm falling down on the process, uh, a mite here. Was this the one you said you had a, oh, hang on a minute. Was this the one you said you had a hard time with, Sari? go outside the rings yeah well i figured that was relevant right because the, 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 they wouldn't put those things there for nothing um oh it was uh, one of the clue stopwatches i see but yeah going outside the rings that makes sense um i feel like i need to um get out the uh that left side there, but I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Oh, 
Oh yes, Ideal Novelist likes to do these conversation starter things, which is really cool. If I could change one thing in my favorite game... Ooh. So my favorite game of all time, as many people know, is Star Control 2. Now, there's a lot you could say you'd mo you'd modernize about a game like that, because it's a game that came out in the DOS era. So, you know, it's very, very dated by today's standards in quite a number of ways. Um, exceptional game, still. Uh, if I was gonna modernize anything in it... Um, if I was going to modernize anything in it, I would say... Uh, I might give it a better fa uh, fast travel mechanic. Uh, like a, an easier way to get back and forth between a couple of the long hauls that you have to do in that game. Uh, without, you know, needing to do the, the, the super long treks that you have to do at some point. Uh, that's probably what I would say. Um, maybe, moder you know, and modernize the UI a little bit, perhaps, because the UI in it is, is obviously from the DOS era, so it's pretty dated. Um, Star Control is fantastic, and funny enough, it is uh, Star Control 2, the DOS version, actually got open-sourced. Uh, if you go to sc2.sourceforge.net, you can actually download it for free. I still have to finish the modern Star Control uh, reimagining that Stardock put out last year. Uh, that was quite good. Uh, I haven't finished it yet. I do need to do that. So, okay, so Sari, you said to ride this around. Um... I kind of am. I'm just trying to get... I have to get into that. Oh, there we... Never mind. I just figured it out. Dang, dang, dang. So, yeah, this game is really cool, Novelist. So this is a cyberpunk point-and-click adventure game called Tales of the Neon Sea. It's actually the first game... Uh, that I've managed to arrange one of our new community partnerships for with The Shed. So sh several streamers from The Shed are going to be playing this game tonight and over the course of the week. And uh, it's got a cool sort of uh, detective noir story, really gorgeous pixel art, really nice soundtrack that I think I'm going to have to pick up. And um, it's got a lot of puzzles in it. And they're challenging, but they're not moon logic, like old school adventure game puzzle frustrating. What the balls? Um, yeah, like I, I love, uh, wow, this lady really did love her cats, didn't she? Um, but yeah, I really love, um, uh, uh I really love point-and-click adventure games, and I really love cyberpunk, and I love good pixel art, so... Um, but yeah, this is this has been good, because, yeah, old-school adventure games had to pad out their relatively short length by making, like, puzzles that were just stupidly... like, had stupid logic and were just incredibly frustrating to solve. This is not like that at all. This is, um... The puzzles in this are actually, uh... Like, they're challenging, but they're nothing crazy. It also has, like, not just a bunch of puzzles, but, like, this crime scene investigation mode. So you have to go and, like, you have to search for clues um, related to, to various different things. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's very, very slick. So far, I have actually... But at the same time, it's very chill in its pacing. It's not, you know, it's not it's not crazy. It's not, um... Uh... You know, it's, 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 not, it's not something that puts a lot of pressure on you. You can take your time and figure things out. Like I said, it's very chill. Um... I've been, uh... I'm quite liking that. 
I'm probably going to be starting up on the Saturdays where I don't do Indie Showcase Saturday. I'm probably going to be starting up a series of uh, streams. Uh, that I'm going to call uh, like either Story Saturday or Adventure Time or something like that, where I go through a lot of these modern day point and click adventure games that I've really wanted to play. Um, and because I'm not very good at the puzzles, what I kind of thought is that I can have the chat with me to help me sort of figure out the puzzle solutions if I get stuck on them. And, you know, the trade off for that is we all get to sort of experience the story together because the story is really what these games are about, right? Um, so I thought that would be kind of a fun thing because I have a pile of these kinds of games lined uh, in my backlog that I would love to get to work through with people. I think that would be a lot of fun. So this robot is certainly involved in situations here. So once you combine the clues, you have to do this gear puzzle kind of thing here. So this is the one, I guess, Sari, that you said you had trouble with, eh? Robots are unable to harm humans, he says. Is this thing going to turn out to be the fact that, like, the cats were doing this all along? And, like, actually it was the cats uprising and turning against their people? <laughs> and that's what made this happen? Because that actually would be kind of funny. The other cup has marks left by a child. Well, the child is probably the 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 kid, you know, that we met outside, right? I would think. Oops. The cats murdered her with a candle, eh? Along with the child. So we got four dogs here. Oh wait, we don't, do we? Are we, oh, are we actually missing, we're actually missing cogs, I guess, eh? Because it looks like there's nowhere we can place this. Oh, no, where it contacts the top gear. No, we can. Uh, or are we missing cogs? Oh, okay. Okay. That's good to know. It didn't it didn't point that out. So if the stopwatch is only partially hanging out, then we can only we don't have everything we need yet. Okay. Decidedly a nicer looking apartment than mine. And boy, did this lady love cats. Passcode, eh? Do 
Wait, there's hidden switches? Ah! Well, that doesn't look creepy at all. Okay, well, I know what we have to do here. Wait a minute, I know what we have to do. One. No. I thought it was go from like lowest to highest number. So that one stays on. Aha! That's correct. Yeah. Highlighted stuff is stuff that is uber critical, but you can interact with non-highlighted objects. And actually, if you want to get all the game's collectibles, you have to do that. That's correct. And investigating the non-highlighted objects can still provide valuable insight. Oh, that's... For Jenny. And a bronze key. Okay, so we still need to find a code for her schedule. I was feeling a bit upset uh, when I saw you off at the door. They're saying the robots are becoming more determined lately, so the government is getting tougher and stricter and the parade might be stopped. But you told me these robots' actions are justified, as those with consciousness and knowledge deserve more than being treated as simple machines. That they should be given the same rights as a human being. You hugged me and left. I almost called your name to make you stay, but I know I should support your decision. I was waiting... That's a good idea, Tech. I was waiting for you with lunch ready, but the police came instead. My world became dark when they asked me to identify your body. Soon I saw you in the morgue. I knew it was you, even though your hair, your face, and your clothes were all covered in blood. I wish I was wrong. My love, my world, I can't believe you were murdered by those cold and heartless machines. I will never forget what they have done. Okie dokie. Uh, also, when her husband was murdered, 2128. So 2128 and 2287, let's try those. Nope. So it's neither of those. Neither 2128 or 2287. Yeah, I was thinking about that, too. Uh, it was... Well, let's try a couple of things here. So, two, four, one, five. Let's just try the order first. Uh, oh, 
Password reminder. Days that will not be days that will not be forgotten. So not twenty eight twenty one or twenty one twenty eight. Days that will not be forgotten. So what were the... So, okay. Yeah, so days. Hey, novelist. So days. Well, let's look up the day in that... In the novel here. Or 20... Okay, so 21. The 21... The 21st of April is when her husband was murdered. Yeah, we'll try that. But it said days, so it's probably two days. So probably 21 and something else. Nope, it's 0421. Okay, well, there we have it. GG. Uh, feed little things, cookies, and dried fish. Only little girl, talk to her. Oh. Ask him about the bully. He was kind of the neighborhood kids counselor, I guess. Okay, so here we go. So we got two more of these things here. During transmission, some gears are stuck and have caused stuttering. Okay. I will say manipulating this puzzle with the mouse is a little tricky. Uh, it's be definitely better to do it with the keyboard. Okay, so... Hmm. So what can actually hook into the top piece here is key first. Okay, so that can. I will say these can definitely get tricky. But again, not not annoying moon logic puzzle. It's just make gears line up. It's not a stupid like moon logic, oh you've gotta friggin' uh you know, defy the laws of physics in some way. Okay, so we're on our way here. Because we made uh we, we got every gear in and to spin. Okay, so that guy clearly connects in there. Or it would appear so. See, there doesn't actually seem to be a lot of points to put a lot of these things, right? Oh, well, no, okay. It's Cranker, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the paratroopers. 
Welcome to my uh, first run of um, Tales of the Neon Sea. Uh, first game in the new Shed Connect developer partnership program with the Shed that uh, I've been helping get started. Very cool cyberpunk point-and-click adventure game that we're playing here. Oh, speaking of, folks, you know there's another thing I was saying I was going to do here that I haven't done yet. Uh, we're going to do this real quick, actually. Uh, as you guys know, I am uh, presently running a contest on player.gg. Uh, for 25 randomly selected Steam keys from my giveaway library. I am actually way behind on giving out bonus codes uh, for this thing. I have a pile of bonus codes available that will give you an extra 100 entries for each one used. So we're going to get a little bit caught up here. So we're going to put two of these in here. If you go to that contest URL and select redeem a bonus code, use those two codes. Uh, and you you get a hundred entries for each one. So thank you guys for hanging out here tonight uh, while I play this uh, this indie game. You know, playing indie games uh, and growing as a variety streamer uh, is a hard thing. And I you know I know when I play games like this that I'm not going to get the crowd I get for other streams. But I love this stuff and I really want to help see this stuff get showcased. So those of you who show up, thank you for that. And. Uh, it is well deserved. So, uh, if you actually look on the contest page in the show more info section, you will see you'll be able to actually see the list of games that you could win from. It is quite extensive, and there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. So, uh, feel free to uh, to use those codes to get yourself some extra some extra entries. There's no limit uh, uh, on how many people can use them. So. Uh, you should all feel free. So, okay. So, this is definitely proven a bit gnarly. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, three different cogs can can go in the top where they will connect with the, with the top one. So... But they have to end up contacting in the middle. That's actually an interesting thought. So hang on, so the order of events. Nice, I saw, I, I really don't know if I'll be able to go or not, and it depends when I'm getting my car fixed. So I can't put it off anymore, so. I also don't, I'll see, I also don't know if, I'll see, I, I don't do r well in super crowded theaters either, so, but uh, we'll see, yeah, I'll, I'll probably grab it before bed, and like you said, I can always, I can always cancel later, so. Okay, so, uh, what was it you said there, Tech, the order of events, so, uh, yeah, you know what, that's, that's a good idea, because that would make these puzzles make a lot more logical sense, right, so, okay, so let's do that, so what do we got here? Because this isn't an order necessarily, right? Some of these are pieces of physical evidence, but if it can be like you did this, then this with this, you know, hit me in the hit, the, you know, they club me in the living room with the candle stand, you know, uh, kind of thing. So okay, the visitor who arrived at midday yesterday, the robot suspect, blood on the couch from around 12 p.m. So I'm gonna say the visitor arrived, probably what we'd want, right? Jenny's visit was recorded. Now that's a little nebulous. So. So Jenny's visit was recorded. So maybe like that. And then what? So, and then the candle stand would have come after. Right, and then the robot suspect, and then blood on the couch. All right. 
And you notice how it says here during transmission some gears have stuck and caused stuttering? So that probably indicates the, the order as well, right? Night, Sin. Because, like, yeah, you see, two of these can't connect. See, those two can spin, so Jenny's visit was recorded is not what we need right now. Okay, so those guys all work. So we have blood on the couch, and then Jenny's visit was recorded. I have to admit, this is kind of a cool puzzle design. Now, if we put Jenny's visit was recorded here, yeah, that's going to break it. So Jenny's visit was recorded is clearly the last item. The problem is this doesn't hook. Okay, no, wait, it does. Uh, 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 oh, 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 no. So Jenny's visit was recorded. Is the last piece, but it doesn't fit. It literally doesn't fit anywhere. Excellent. Z Z uh, Threeks, welcome to the. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the paratroopers. So. So is this an order thing, I guess? It must be, right? Anybody think, anybody have any ideas on what they think might be the ideal order of events here? So you see, okay, so see, these two are now turning together. But those don't intersect. So what about this? Ah! So see, it changes when I put it down there because the direction, because the gears spin in certain directions. So the gears can't contradict each other. So like that. And they're all spinning. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it, folks. Baboosh! Man of mystery. What did you do, little girl? Holy sh... Remember? I said that child looks suspicious. I told you that child looked like a friggin' serial murderer. I'm good at this stuff. That robot probably worked for the kid. It was probably like a servant robot of the, of the kid's family. I friggin' knew it. That damn... I knew that little kid was a friggin' murderer. Trust that little girl. Damn right. Let's friggin' uh, let's do some enhanced interrogation here. Hey, Royd, we got a friggin', uh... Well, no. That's the thing. She was clearly a sweet lady. She had a... She didn't like robots, but she was a sweet cat lady who was very nice to, you know, to the children of the neighborhood and that. And this friggin' kid friggin' clubbed her with a candlestick! Like, what the balls, man? We need more good people like that. No, he didn't. Oi, fat boy.
No, he didn't kill her. He just robbed her corpse after she was already dead. Which is, to be fair, is not nearly as, like... That is not nearly as bad a crime. To be fair, to be fair. You know. Maybe theft and burglary, but not murder. <laughs> a little girl. But let me tell you who the real murderer is. This nice little kid who lives in the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so we gotta go, uh... We gotta go, uh, we gotta go, uh, slice, we gotta slice a robot here, boys. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh my god, another puzzle. Oh no, it's not. Okay, it's just push buttons. This is another puzzle. Sliding out all the pieces that aren't interlocked with others? Oh god. What? Why'd you have to stop? Why do I have to start over when I get it wrong? That doesn't make any sense. This is stupid. Wait. Oh my god. Oh, this is frustrating. Oh god, another one! Didn't I even already have any tamper protection? Oh wow, that was easy. That was pretty easy. I literally just randomly picked four directions and I was correct. Sometimes, you know. Oh, he's got a mod ship. Uh, robot is tripping balls. That's a good question. Whatever it is, pass them over.
Secret Service Division. Oh, wow. Look at the shoulder pads on this guy and the cyber shades. He looks like a member of Information Society. They're called the SSD. That's great. Oh, good. Jenny's the daughter of an important man. Ugh. Man in black. Hey, ass crack. Yeah. Wow, look at this guy's face. Inspector Royd, it's quite surprising that you're asking a private detective to assist with your investigation. And I've heard you decided to make our sweet little Miss Jenny a suspect. Look at her face! You are pure evil! That child is going to friggin' hail Satan. You know it. Sure you did. I, I will after wear. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go, but uh, Sin said I can refund it if I can't. So... The cat has it. <laughs> the cat just comes over <clears throat> and barfs out another friggin' candlestick. <laughs> oh, there it is. GG, William. Oh, look at you. Ain't you helpful? <laughs> this cat knows the score. I like him. No one seems put off by the fact that the cat just walked in the window with it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I suppose. They did do the Metal Gear Solid. Brink! I have something for Jenny. <coughs> Backhand upside the face. Ah, yes, Miss Perry's gift. Was the child perhaps upset that she didn't have her present yet? Jenny, you are a kind and lovely girl, often coming to chat with me. Today is your birthday, and you are about to become a little adult. I know you like Elizabeth very much, so I have decided to give her to you today. Oh, she gave her the cat. I know you will definitely be good to her. I believe this because you are a loving child. By the way, I have also made a nameplate, which has already been engraved with your name. From today, Elizabeth is yours. I hope that you will grow up happily, and I will always be happy with your favorite cakes and fruit teas when you need them. Yo, Grandma Perry. Oh, she's the nicest lady. Oh, uh, she's buckling. Achievement unlocked mental crime. Well, that's a hell of a thing.
Okay, so I'm just gonna, I guess I just go back home. Yeah, how did William find that? Cats in this game are, cl I think, I think this whole game is about the cats basically rising up and taking over. So the cats talk to each other, and the cats ho have their own separate puzzle sections. I guess there's there's entire segments of the game where you have to play as the cats to get stuff. That is actually a pretty cool twist. I think that's pretty cool. I actually really like this idea of, of you switch perspectives to the cats once in a while. I think that's a cool idea. These cats are also quite eloquent with each other. The Biocats territory? That cat has sunglasses. Also, there's a dog. I will say that I could see these puzzles getting a little, uh, a little, uh, tricky after a while, but. What's that? I need to find the switch. Giddy. Thanks to the insightful leadership of the boss. So the cats have, like, gang ter gang wars? They're like cat mafias. I mean, I'm kind of okay with this, but... Is this like their cat's drug den? No worries, Sari. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I, I appreciate it. You have yourself a good one. And I'm glad you're having fun with this. Does that cat have a friggin' beret on like a hipster? My god, he does. This cat is a- Oh my god, and he's got the little cat hipster mustache! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, game of the year. Yeah, game, game, yeah, game of the year right here. But they're not whiskers. Look at them. They, they're like the little hipster, like the, the little hipster stash, but in whisker form. Yeah, game of the year, ten out of ten. This totally has. This has a hipster cat. This has cat gangs and cat hipsters. I mean, really. If you can answer three questions properly about me and my family. This, this cat looks like a friggin this cat looks like he should be in shadow run to meow with it oh my god okay this is pretty adorable and awesome all right we gotta answer him these questions three what is my profession a friggin hipster douchebag Quote from the boss. Uh, the rival family? Uh, I don't know, actually. Did we see this? They said, like, the cyber cats or whatever, but... Oh! Okay. We, we got it right. I guessed and we got it right. I usually don't get these things right when I have to guess. A very artistic looking control stick. It's so artistic. You guys go right ahead and keep thinking that. Uh, 
I don't want to know where that cat was keeping that thing. Uh, okay. What good did that do? Oh, I can jump onto it. I see. Fishies. Oh. Wow. I murdered those poor innocent fish in order to short out the electronics. What a shitty way to die. This cat is uh this cat is a stone cold killer, man. You sure you don't want to be part of the biocats? Murdered some fish for your to make things slightly easier for you. My god. My eyes are blinded by the light. Okay, there's buttons here, but I don't appear to be able to push them. If you can turn the color of the neon lights into the color of Miss Anna. I think that's red, isn't it? Into the color of Miss Anna. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, do anybody remember what those were? I'll go back and look. Red, yellow, green. Oops. We were close. Bat cat transport system. Whoa. Uh, the boss looks wow. Bradsey, don't, uh... Vigo Bourbon just looks evilly dapper. chemical cat how many layers of cat society are there here I am literally dealing with the cat mafia right now Cat is playing the piano. What is game? Oh god. Oh god, it's Simon says. Okay. 
Okay, hang on. Damn it. Okay. Damn it! There. No, don't make it harder for me. This little ball is for me. Okay. So, what is it that I have to do? Consult the counselor, Martin. Oh, this is Martin. Addicted to baked catnip. speak of this to everyone else. Gotta get you your big derb, son. Yo, Tessio needs his big derb. Oh, God. Big ass lever puzzle. Excuse me, sir. 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 Oh boy. Oh, what fresh hell is this? So apparently he can read English too. So you know there's that.
Looks like I need to find a tinfoil product, like the one that Douche Canoe has. get back up here though oh up here I see He made a tinfoil unicorn. Do you buy a cat's dream of electric rats? <laughs> I don't know. A zombie hand poking out of the door? I'm not sure. Maybe. Gotta find some baked catnip. Well, I found catnip. This is where I baked the catnip. Guessing. Yep. Well, that guy was easily distracted, wasn't he? I can't run the test on everybody. What did he say I had to run them on? I had to run them on uh, the bouncer guy, the catnip junkie, and somebody else. Boss's reaction was a bit unusual. So, what was the other one? Oh, right, Polly. Who was Polly again? Was this guy Polly? No, that's Falkenberg. Who was Polly? I'm trying to remember now.
Was it this guy? No, that's Spike. Who was Polly? Don't what? Don't dead open and so what? Okay, maybe, hang on. Is he down here? Ah. Oh, hey, Polly. Oh, right, because he was the master of disguise. That's right. It's the boss. Yeah. The boss uh, has got issues. Also, what's it? Did we go into this window down here? We did, didn't we? Or did we? Yes, we did. All right, this place. Right. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, wait, no, we want to talk to the, uh, this guy down here. Uh, no, there was only three subjects we had to test, so we did those. Yeah, the boss is the biocat. Friendship of the Bourbon family. Uh, right, this is in the right area. Okay, so, uh... Right. So we have to go back out to... Out this way. Cats and a cranky dog, apparently. In the middle of a turf war with this dog. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Dog beat cat. Don't play, son. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, seven twelve, I know, right? <laughs> we gotta go meet Royd at the bar. Scared away the treasure? Taxi. Oh, hi, hover cab. Do now. Now I get to play space taxi from the Commodore 64 to drive myself to the bar. Little bit, eh? It has an arcade game in it. Okay, sorry. 12 out of 10. Game of the century. And I bet there's an achievement. I bet there's an achievement for this, too. You know there is. Falkenberg twice? Yeah, there is. There's there, there's a there's a large receive an invitation from the devil. This game's gonna go places, guys. It actually doesn't look like there's any achievement related to the arcade game. Okay, sorry, eleven out of ten. Oh god, this is just Flappy Bird. It's literally press the button to accelerate and avoid the things. There's no steering or anything. So th this is basically Flappy Bird. Hmm. I like this little uh I like this funky jazz though that it's that it's playing along with it. I just want to get to 10. So did most people, Ideal Novelist. Though, when I was at a, like a modern arcade in Toronto a couple of weeks ago with my lady friend, there is totally a Flappy Bird arcade machine. It's kind of like a redemption game more than anything, but yeah. Okay, well, you know what? That's cool they put that in there anyway. So, you know what we're going to do, guys, here? It's 20 after 10, so we're going to do a little bit more in this sequence, and then I think I am going to call it for the night, because I'm going to take Riley for another walk, and I do have a couple of things to do before bed. But listen, this game is awesome. Um, I really, really like it, and I am, uh, I am absolutely going to finish it. We will probably play more of this on stream in the not too distant future maybe we'll do the first maybe we'll do my first episode of story saturday working on this some more or uh, maybe i'll make this part of the regular stream rotation i don't know we'll think about that but i have to say uh i love the music in this i love the look of it i like the fact that it is a modern point and click adventure game but it's modern it's got modern play mechanics modern simplistic controls and those a couple of the puzzles are challenging none of them are moon logic at least so far uh doing it all really well and i love the i love the theme of this 
and this whole mechanic of the cats that can understand each other and that you do entire sequences with them, I think is just awesome. I think it's very cool. Um, I think this is really good so far. So we are, uh, I am going to put this entire VOD of tonight up on YouTube so that people can have sort of an extended first impression of this game, uh, if you will, but uh, I think it's really, really, really good, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. lady friend who you might be happy to see. Sorry, lady friend you said? Not a friggin' uh, cyber Cuban war general? Hey, Momo. Speaking of kitties. kitty. There should be a kitty in this game named Momo. There totally should. and everything's all woo. Wait, let's play cards. I'll tell you if you win. We just playing blackjack here? Yeah, okay, we are just playing blackjack. Oh, you're friggin' ri rigged. Rigged! Absolutely rigged. Rigged! Twenty one. Oh, my God, this game is so rigged. And he gets twenty one again. Yes, yeah, screw that noise. Yeah, and he always gets twenty one. This guy, I, I, I'm going to guess that this guy is actually cheating. Like that's part of his story. Because apparently I cannot win. No, oh, there we go. I actually won one. Or I'm just getting dealt really terrible hands.
And I think I'm just getting dealt really terrible hands. Kind of cool that it has this little mini game, though, even though it's just blackjack. Oh, you don't have the five card rule? I should have just won that by default by hitting, getting a full, a full deal. Same thing there. That was crap. Hey, there we go. It <laughs> sounds fair. I just kept trying until I won, you know. That's pretty funny. I literally just kept... He's like, seems fair. I don't know. You just kept doing it until you won. What? Back in the bar. What did you see? Okay, I can't go back right now, so... I think we just picked up a side quest. Did we actually just pick up a side quest? That's awesome. These games don't typically have side quests, uh, ma'am. Oh, achievement unlocked, gentlemen. Did I just pour champagne or something? Yeah, how you gonna thank me for it? Oh. So what was above the door, Tech? What, the big demon horns? Yeah, that's pretty... Oh my... Wait a minute. Look who's standing beside the door. That's freaking Luigi. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, I'm going to talk to some people first and then... Nobody else I can talk to? Okay. I love how their neon sign there too says beer coffee. Because <laughs> those are two things you want you want together. Finish the night drinking, sure. There we go, guys. Well, that is chapter one and done. So, uh... Oof. I am out of it, apparently. You know BBX is still busted, right? All right, guys. Well, you know what? I think we're going to call it here for the evening because I have a few things to do. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, 
Um, this game is really cool. Uh, I am definitely going to finish it, hopefully on stream. We may make finishing this the first game of uh, Story Saturday or whatever I end up calling it when I get to do it. To do it. But, um, or it might just become part of the regular stream rotation, I'm not sure. But honestly, this game is very, very good. I love the look of it. I love the sound of it. I have really got to pick up the... Um, I've really got to pick up the soundtrack for it. I like the fact that it is very simple to control and play, uh, and that the puzzles that are in it, at least so far, don't seem too moon logic-y. They're just, you know, slightly challenging in spots, but nothing crazy. I love the investigation mechanic. I love the whole, like, sentient or, you know, cats that can understand each other that you then get to play uh, segments with. I think that's really cool. Um, and I love cyberpunk. So, hey, um, this is very well put together, uh, and I'm quite impressed. Uh, for a Kickstarter game, it's pretty amazing. And from a Chinese team, the translation's very good, as is the writing. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that. So, yeah, that is Tales of the Neon Sea. Uh, we will be playing more of this for sure. But yes, thank you very much to uh, the fine folks at uh, Zodiac Interactive for giving us uh, at the Shed an opportunity to play this game as part of our um, the first run at our community partnership initiative that I have been helping to, uh, to facilitate. Yeah, I would probably recommend it, Rez. It's uh, it's inexpensive. It's uh, $15 US right now, $15.29 US on a 10% launch week discount. So uh, pretty good uh, pretty good deal, all things considered, as well. It is only on the PC right now, though I'm certain console versions are planned because this game has full controller support. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I think that will be coming. But yes, we will indeed be playing more of this. This game is excellent and uh, highly recommend it. Unless you really don't like point and click adventure games. Um, highly recommend it. So once again, thank you to Zodiac Interactive for the press code for myself and several other members of the Shed who are going to be playing this. And uh, for making our uh, first official community partnership uh, a pretty cool thing. Uh, I hope this will be the first of many more of these things. The Shed takes indie games seriously, and we really want to work with developers to hopefully get uh, our streamers noticed while also getting cool games noticed because it is harder than it's ever been to get noticed on both fronts and uh i think cool stuff deserves uh deserves some recognition so we'll be back people i guarantee you playing more of this but thank you very much for watching and uh yeah stick around for a minute guys i'm gonna host somebody for you but i'm gonna stop this recording first if you are watching on youtube folks uh please like uh please like the video subscribe to the channel if you like this and want to see more like it uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about it for sure or other games like this that you might recommend for my future story uh, focused live streams and uh, definitely go check this out there is a link in the description to pick this game up yourself I uh, would highly recommend it if you are uh, interested in that so thanks very much guys I will see you all next time and have yourselves a good one take care